Boston Police Chief Brian Manley says there will be more officers downtown tonight following a stabbing spree. Manley says three people were stabbed overnight. Investigators are looking into two more possible cases. Here's what we know. Chief Manley said that a group of women flagged down officers along Natchez near 6th Street around 1130 last night. Police found a woman lying in a pool of blood with a cut on the back of her head. The victim told police a woman walking the opposite direction stabbed her. Less than an hour later, about a block away, another woman flagged an officer saying she'd been stabbed. She also had a cut on the back of her head and said that she recognized her attacker as a homeless person she's seen outside her downtown workplace. And around the same time, officers responded to East 6th and Red River Streets where a third woman was stabbed, cut on her shoulder and wrist. Officers used the overhead halo cam, cam crime cameras to track the suspect to the Austin Resource Center for the Homeless at 7th and Niches. Police arrested Raycala Morris. They found a knife they think was used in all of the attacks. And Chief Manley says Morris confessed to stabbing five people. He says cameras showed there could be two more victims who haven't come forward. What the community can expect to see immediately is an increased presence in the entertainment district beginning tonight. We're working to get additional officers coming in on an overtime basis, and we will work to do that throughout this weekend. Morris faces aggravated assault charges. If you have tips on any of these crimes, call police. And less than 30 minutes ago, Governor Greg Abbott weighed in on this. He says the city leaders have allowed lawlessness in the city that is resulting in violence against Austinites. He went on to blame the increase in violence on the ordinance that city council members passed last June, no longer making it illegal for people to sit, camp, and lie in public places. And also said that the Austin City Council should reinstate the camping ban.